So today we want to speak about uh, a subject that is one of the or one of the common questions inside the metalheads. Which is the first original death metal album of all the ages? This is a not simple question. First of all, we have to understand that the death metal scene started inside from the thrust metal. So, most of the first death metal records, or maybe the first death metal bands, they were something between thrust and death. So, many people until now, they have a, a very big uh, uh, question if the <clears throat> in, in discussion, if the first death metal band and death metal album is the first debut album of Possessed from United States, Seven Churches. Uh, Seven Churches came out in 1885, or maybe the first debut album of Death, Scream Bloody Go. It came out, uh, if I'm not sure, uh, some years afterwards, uh, I think in 87. Uh, so, if we speak about only uh, the years, this album is a, a little bit uh, uh, two years before this album. Okay, but here we have some questions. If, if first of all, Possessed is a real death metal band? Uh, not exactly. Maybe they are the pioneers of death metal. But they are not exactly a death metal band. They were in their in in these years as a thrust metal band. Even more, the two other works of them, uh, the second album and the EP that came out, out afterwards, uh, they were even more thrust metal. Not exactly this kind of um, thrust death that they played in their debut album Seven Churches. Some other people will say, but you have here a song by the name Death Metal. So they are the forefathers of death metal, yes, but also you can find the name death metal as a song. Yeah. Also, other bands, they had this um, style of uh, names. Let's say, for example, Volcano, Volcano from uh, Brazil, with their first debut album. Is a, This album is a little bit uh, thrust, proto-black metal, let's say. And uh, uh, also here they have a, 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 in this album by the name Bloody Visions, they have a song by the name Death Metal, also Vulcano. So this is not exactly the name Death Metal, and even more, also Venom, they had an, an, a, a, they had an album, their second album by the name Black Metal. Uh, but uh, we, we, we cannot say that Venom is exactly a style of black metal as we know it uh, afterwards. So, this is one thing. The second, the second thing, if we speak about uh, Scream Bloody Go, also this album is not exactly only death metal. Maybe some people, they, they like to say that this is a death metal uh, uh, record, but it's, uh, we can say that also, here we, we can find some uh, thrust metal elements, and this is something very, very common in this area. So, here I want uh, uh, to, to speak about other also bands and other also albums. First of all, let's find out some other bands from thrust metal, but that we know today, we, we cannot say that they are death metal bands, of course, they are thrust metal. Some of them also proto-black, but uh, they made their influence inside also death metal. Let's speak about the German uh, bands like Destruction or like Creator. The Creator, we can speak here about the debut album of them, Painless, uh, um, Endless Pain. Endless Pain, their first debut album, and also here we can also put A Pleasure to Kill, the second uh, album of them, of Creator. And also we can speak about Sodom. Sodom with their first debut album, Obsessed by Cruelty. And also maybe their EP 
in the sign of evil. Also, we can speak about Slayer. Some people will speak about Rainy Blood, but they prefer to speak about Hell Awaits, their second, few, few, uh, uh, their second full uh, album of them, Hell Awaits. And also, we can put here Dark Angel with their second album, Darkness Descends. We can maybe continue and we can speak about some Brazilian bands, for example, Sepultura with their debut album, Morbid Visions and their EP Bestial Devastation. And also with some other Brazilian bands, I spoke before about Vulcano, but let's also uh, put a Mystifier here and their second album, Coetia. I know. We can put them also in the proto black uh, style of metal. And of course, Sarcophago with their first debut album, INRI in Re. All these bands, they made their influences, but we can't say that it is not exactly death metal. These bands, they were something between extreme thrust and Something that today we, some people will say that this is proto-black, other people they will say this is a proto-death. Together with this, let's also find some other bands that, that uh, they open the way to for death metal even more from these bands. Let's see. What about, first of all, Nihilist from Sweden? And there are the demos of them, Carnal Leftovers. This is uh, the combination, the name of the combination. Uh, from Nihilist, uh, also uh, Itumt came out and also Unleashed afterwards. Or maybe Grotesque, also from, also from Sweden, and, and their album in the Embrace of Evil from this band came out afterwards at the gates. Also Necrolord. The painter, he was playing in this band, Grotesque from Sweden. And also, let's speak about Mantas. Mantas, they were the band of Chuck before he made Death. And here we have a combination of their demos, Death by Metal. Remember, also, here we, he was Chuck with Cam Lee, and uh, together of with other guys of the uh, first of uh, first style of let's say uh, death metal other people here will speak we, we can they can speak about some death rush uh, uh, bands like sadus like demolition hammer like like morbid scent like macabre some other people also will speak about Pestilence, Pestilence from Holland, from Netherlands, uh, in their first uh, album of them of 88, uh, Maleus uh, Malichicarum, uh, Mali, uh, Mali, they played the style of um, thrust metal, and only in their second album they became even more death. Uh, other people also we can put here, uh, Autopsy of course, of course, and uh, Maybe, why not, uh, uh, some bands like, for example, Obituary, uh, their name before was Executioner, or maybe Hamon, Amon, that afterwards they became Decide, or some other people will also speak about Napal Death and uh, the Carcass from England, but they were even more grind in these years. But so, here I will speak also about Necrophagia, Necrophagia, and with this uh, debut album of them, Season of the Dead, it, it has to be their first album, but afterwards they made another album. Uh, the first debut album that they had to put out uh, came afterwards. Here we have also a, a good example of uh, thrust metal and proto-death. And also we can speak about uh, Death Strike. Death Strike with their album uh, Fucking Death. Afterwards, this band they became Master. In '85, they wanted to make an album. They released uh, a '85 album, and afterwards the debut album. 
the real debut album of them, of Master, also one of the cornerstones of death metal, in my opinion. But the question is still here. Which is the first real death metal album? Here, I have to say, first of all, some people also will speak about Morbid Angel. Morbid Angel, and if we're speaking about Morbid Angel, many people, they speak about their first debut album. Altars of, Ma Altars of Madness, of course, of course. Other people also, will, they will put, uh, if we're speaking about Morbid Angel, about uh, this abominations of desolation that it was uh, it was has to be the first debut album but came afterwards afterwards this album of 86 so here i some people also they say something that uh, i can agree that uh, maybe the first debut death uh, album Scream Bloody Goal is not exactly the real death metal first album but their second full length album Leprosy yes here we can say that we have a real death metal record but in my opinion the first band that they played a style that we call it today death metal in these years they were extreme thrust metal is, is uh, not death and not possessed is Hellhammer from Switzerland that afterwards they became Celtic Frost Celtic Frost, Celtic Frost so let's see here we have one of their first demos of them Satanic Rites there also historical EP of them Apocalyptic Rates and of course afterwards the Celtic Frost albums first of all the first uh, EP Morbid Tales of 84 or 85 I'm not sure uh, 84 84 and the second EP the return of, em of the Emperor of 85 and also not only Morbid Tales their first debut album of them full length album to Megatherion of Celtic Frost for me these are the first let's say death metal albums of all time even before death even before possessed in my, op in my opinion of course but uh, we have to understand many of these uh, uh, groups in these years they were not, not exactly death metal not exactly black metal or proto black metal they were a style of extreme thrust afterwards uh, we can today so many years afterwards we can say this is thrust metal this is black metal and this is death metal uh, so from Israel and from Jerusalem, stay metal and stay heavy.